in today's class of operating system we'll be moving on to the next topic which is related to directory and the related system calls of that particular directory now the first uh, system call which is related to operations performing on a directory is open directory so you want to open a particular directory and for that we have to go for including dirent.h uh, dirent.h which contains all the specified operations you can perform on a directory so when i want to open a directory it is open dir is a function and you specify the path of the directory so depending on the path you have specified a directory will be open and if it is success in opening the path you return a directory structure otherwise it returns you null indicating that it is a failure if you want to use it in your programming concept dir is a constant which is available in your dirent.h star dir is a pointer to your directory you are specifying the name of the directory or in place of it you can even specify the path just the path or a name would be enough here and if it is successful if it is equal to null it means that you are not able to open up that directory otherwise you can open up your directory now you want to read the contents from the directory uh, there is a directory and you want to read the contents of the directory so when you want to read the directory contents it is read dir and you specify the directory path here so it is a pointer to the directory which is been opened by your open dir so you cannot use read dir directly you have to open the directory and then followed by open dir we have to move on with read dir on success it returns you the structure indicating the next directory entry that is required you are able to you are not reading the contents of it you are reading the next directory that is available there and then when you want to actually use it in a program if dir is not equal to null it means that you are able to read the directory the next directory which is available you print the name of that particular directory otherwise you try to close the directory which is been opened if you want to close the directory so you can just go for using close dir and specify the pointer which is written as an output when you are opening the directory on success it gives a value 0 otherwise it returns your value minus 1 so dir is a constant present in dirent.h dir is equal to your opening up the directory and if you are successful in opening up the directory you go, can go for reading the entries present in the directory and you can go for closing that particular directory now you are able to open a directory or you are able to perform a read operation on a directory or you are able to close a directory when all these operations are possible when a directory exists right so how do you go for creating a directory it is using mkdir make directory so in make directory it returns an integer a pointer to that particular directory you specify the name of the directory you want to create and the mode in which you want to create whether you go for a file mode or whether you go for a directory mode you have to specify the permissions which are to be given to the owner user owner you want to specify it for your group or it can be for others whether these three users wants to perform read operation write operation or execute operation so when you are creating a directory mkdir specify the name of the directory and first leading zero indicates that it is an octal number and the remaining three digits following zero indicates what type of permissions are provided to these three different types of users so if the value returned is zero it means that the directory has been created successfully and you can perform the remaining operations on the directory now you have done with the operations now you no longer require a directory there so i can go for removing a directory so if you want to remove a directory just specify the name of the directory rmdir and the directory name which you want to delete and if on success it returns your value zero otherwise it returns you minus one indicating that there is an error or it specifies a specific error number if it is not able to delete the directory so when i say i am removing a directory directory in turn contains multiple files so when you will be able to remove this directory when all the files are being removed from the directory only then you can go for removing the directory if any of a single file is existing in the directory you cannot go for removing the directory in that case it will be either displaying you minus one or the error number indicating that why is not directory is being removed from the system 
Now the last system call which we have here is nothing but U mask. U mask here stands for user mask. While you are creating a directory or a folder, by default it has its own permission. So for directories, the default permissions are 777 indicates that all the three type of users can perform read, write and execute operation. Whereas on the files, the default operations are 666 which indicates that they can only perform read operation as well as write operation. Now for the file or a directory which is being created, you want to know what is the what do you under what are the what are the permissions that are being given to that so you can just write it as u mask so it returns you the permissions that are being allotted to that particular file and if you want to set your own permissions you can write u mask without any arguments will give you the output of the permissions that are assigned to a file u mask followed by some values here if you are specifying whatever file or directory you have created you will be getting a new permission other than the specified permissions which it already has. Let us take an example and see it here. And why I want to just use umask0022, whereas my default permissions for the directory are 777. So when I am writing umask0022, it means that your default permission value and your umask value will be subtracted from your default permissions and you get a permission as 755. So these are the permissions which are being given to the directory which is being created. So it is neither 777 permission or neither 0022 permission. It is nothing but whatever umask value you are specifying, it gets subtracted from the default permissions and you get a new permission. So overall here, the reason of your umask is you can give your own permissions. So if you want to change the permissions which are already been allotted, you can use this umask. We'll just see a sample program here. So here I'm setting my umask to 0022. First zero indicates that it is an octal number. First is for your owner. Second value two is for your group third value is for your others. So depending on the binary values of your permissions, you get this 0, 2, 2. First, I'm opening a file and here I'm specifying that I want to create a file if it is not existing and what in what mode you want to open only in your right mode. And these are the default permissions which you are specifying 0, 6. So 0, 6 from this, you get subtract your value 0, 2, 2, and that would be the permission given to the file. If it returns a value minus 1, it means that there is an error in opening the file. Otherwise, the file is open up and you can go for writing the data. So how do you write the data? You write the first argument with be a file descriptor. Specify the string what you want to write it in the file and you even specify what is the length of the file. So you finish writing the data onto the file. Now you closed your file. How do you close your file? Close of your file descriptor. And finally, when you want to print it, you can print the permissions of that particular file. So this here in today's class, we have learned about different system calls that can be used on a directory structure.